What's something really important that you should have been taught in school, but you weren't? The hymen is not a shield of skin that is to be punctured on your first time having sex. It's more like a ring that is uh, meant to stretch over time, you know, through activities like sex, um, penetrative, um, but also, you know, I don't know, horse riding and gymnastics and other physical activities I didn't do as a kid. It's not supposed to break. It's not supposed to bleed. It breaks and bleeds if you're not relaxed or aroused um, and sex still happens. Uh, and, and, and guess what, you know, tenses you up and does not make you relaxed? Expecting it to hurt and bleed. Why were failed sports players in charge of health education in school? So it finally happened. Researchers figured out how to make pigs breathe out of their butt and they named it after an anime. So sometimes when people have lung damage, they're put on ventilators to help them breathe, but this can also cause more damage. So researchers went looking for another way to oxygenate blood. And so they went looking to nature, and it turns out that some types of catfishes, even though they have gills, they also go to the surface of the water, swallow air, and then it's absorbed through their intestines. Now the human intestines are also known for absorbing pharmaceuticals, so they were like, let's see if this works. So, of course, they took some mice, and they deprived them of oxygen, and they tried putting oxygen gas up their butts. Now this kind of worked, but it had some problems, so... So, they created a perfluorochemical which holds a lot more oxygen than water. So then they put this up their butts, and the mice, the rats, and even the pigs that were oxygen-deprived healed. They absorbed the oxygen through their butts and through their intestines. And then they named it the EVA method after Evangelion and the fluid that lets them breathe. And the researchers just started a startup to do clinical trials and hopefully use this in future patients. I was today years old when I found out. Say you swallow an ibuprofen tablet for a sore ankle. Within minutes, the tablet starts disintegrating in the acidic fluids of your stomach. The dissolved ibuprofen travels into the small intestine and then across the intestinal wall into a network of blood vessels. These blood vessels feed into a vein which carries the blood, and anything in it, to the liver. The next step is to make it through the liver. As the blood and the drug molecules in it travel through liver blood vessels, enzymes attempt to react with the ibuprofen molecules to neutralize them. The damaged ibuprofen molecules, called metabolites, may no longer be effective as painkillers. At this stage, most of the ibuprofen makes it through the liver unscathed. It continues its journey out of the liver, through veins, into the body's circulatory system. Half an hour after you swallow the pill, some of the dose has already made it into the circulatory bloodstream. This blood loop travels through every limb and organ, including the heart, brain, kidneys, and back through the liver. When ibuprofen molecules encounter a location where the body's pain response is in full swing, they bind to specific target molecules that are part of that reaction. Painkillers, like ibuprofen, block the production of compounds that help the body transmit pain signals. As more drug molecules accumulate, the pain-canceling effect increases, reaching a maximum within about one or two hours. Then the body starts efficiently eliminating ibuprofen, with the blood dose decreasing by half every two hours on average. Muy malo siguiente. Malísimo. Uh, horroroso. A ver... Oh, malísimo. Ah, tú sí, guapo. Hoy vamos a desenterrar a mi tortuga. Hace aproximadamente cuatro meses, lamentablemente, falleció una de mis tortugas, una traquemes venusta. Y lo que yo opté por hacer es enterrarla. La verdad me dolió mucho su muerte porque pues era parte de la familia. Así que lo que vamos a hacer hoy va a ser desenterrar su esqueleto. falta de la pala pequeña nosotros lo que vamos a hacer es empezar a acabar con la mano nosotros lo que la verdad estábamos buscando es esta bolsa lo que yo hice fue poner a la tortuga 
dentro de una bolsa para que no se puedan perder los huesos ni se puedan esparcir. Aquí ya hemos desenterrado la mayor parte de la bolsa, de hecho ya puedo empezar a ver el esqueleto y lo voy a sacar y se los voy a mostrar. Listo, ya la logramos sacar después de mucho esfuerzo, estuvo complicado porque la bolsa quedó frágil después de tanto tiempo, pero aquí está. Ahorita vamos a quitar la tierra para enseñarles el cráneo. Sígueme para la parte 2. This experiment is designed to piss a monkey off. It was run by Franz de Waal to test if monkeys have a sense of fairness. Both capuchin monkeys are completing the same task. The one on the left is paid in cucumbers. The one on the right is paid in grapes. A food they much prefer. The monkey on the left was cool with cucumber the first time. But now he's seen the other monkey be paid with a grape. And he, indeed, seems to be pissed off. Really pissed off. <laughs> 